It has become a nightmare. My mind went to the worst place, blew this motor up. My beautiful little shiner here. I am so excited. I get to be like an artist today. Ooh, mommy. Celebration dance. Well, you might be wondering where this beautiful and very humble couple came from. Back in 2019, we spent the year building out our schoolie. After the build was done, we sold our house and traveled for a full year. Following that year of travel, we started to crave building again and getting something 4x4. So I don't know if we've told you yet, or if you remember, but the van was running great. The transmission, however, wouldn't go out of first gear. What I was doing today, checking to make sure I routed all the transmission lines correctly by hooking up this gauge. This is the gauge I used for the uh, to test high pressure oil. So as you can see, we actually have pressure in there. Now, if you can see here, all this oil everywhere, and starting it, it has become a nightmare. Right now, my diagnosis is that this oil filter here, you can see the O-ring, how it's a little weird there. The O-ring blew out and just started spraying oil everywhere. Now, naturally, my mind went to the worst place that we just blew this motor up. Oil was everywhere, so I thought it was coming out of like the head or the block or like, of course, I wasn't just like, oh, it's something simple. My thinking is it's the worst case scenario. So I started panicking and uh, I ended up just removing the oil filter and noticing that the O-ring is just completely like ovaled and like just seriously pushed out the side. Weird, I've never had that happen. I mean, these motors make a lot of oil pressure out of the oil filter O-ring going out, weird. So I guess I won't be buying oil filters from Napa anymore. But with that being said, I think that's the fix. And now I know that the transmission is making <laughs> pressure too. I, that's the um, outgoing side. I don't know about the ingoing. I'm just trying to sh share with you my highs and lows of building this van. My beautiful little shiner here. I was surfing and when I fell, the surfboard came back and hit me in the nose. But it's actually not as bruised as I thought it was. I have like puffiness under my eyes and my nose is a little thicker here, but really it's not bad. It could have been so much worse. At least I didn't knock my teeth out and I doubt my nose is broken. All right, little shop update is turning out to be a beautiful day. Um, I just got done cutting out the side blackout panels for the side windows and painting them. I have it painted. I need to flip it around and do the other side, but it's all curved and stuff. That's, so that took a little bit. Lance has actually been killing it on Hell the on facing. Hell on I'll show you, I'll show you. The upper area up oh, here dark. is starting to look. Yeah, so we added this to this pipe here. So it connects this to there. Gives it that curvy look. And then now I'm facing this out. This is all actually in there. This one was fun because it's curved and I matched that curve pretty spot on. Yeah, that was just one in though. Oh yeah. You can see the angle. Gonna be one sexy slide out. And then I also, we're wanting to put the solar system back in because the batteries are finally getting low after months of using the saw and the welder. So it's time to charge them back up. So I cleaned up our battery area and painted flex sealed will sound that and insulate tomorrow morning. And then we can get the batteries back in. And paint tip of the day. Learned this from my beautiful mama. I think Lance knew this too, but if you want to save your rollers, put them in a baggie in a fridge. This roller's lasted us like, I think it's been a month and a half since it was used and it's still usable. And then here is a little handle. So the thing out there is gonna be a slide out and this is gonna be the little handle for it to slide it out. It's actually angled like this because the windows are angled, go figure. Everything's angled. <laughs> So I sound detoned and painted and sealed up the solar area so all of our solar stuff can go back in. And Lance like, just lifted our battery pack in. It's yeah, all I added in this these box. straps here. Um, and the idea is, well, basically, 
the plywood that sits up here will be able to come off so it's like a big service panel and if we ever do need to pull these batteries out these straps we can just lift it up i mean i guess you could bring in like an engine hoist or a crane and literally lift them up too because they're probably like 150 pounds not easy that's for sure right up here on top of the wheel well is where all of our inverter and charge controller and all of our electrical components are going to go are right here and then on the other side is our water tank we'll get this all hooked up and uh, get these batteries charging again they're, they say they're at like 36 percent but i just want to charge them up just to make sure that they're doing okay okay so we are doing a diy fake cement wall for the backsplash lance has been working on the wood for it I, I think you call this a rabbit or a mortise maybe anyways I cut that out put glue in it that way we don't need any hard fixturing and then we have this little lip here and I cut out another piece and that's gonna just slide there so we'll just put a bunch of glue on the inside of this and slide it on and it hides all our wiring this is the factory wiring um, and I'm probably gonna actually run wiring through the top of this too and I'm going to be using this cement color and joint compound. So it'll be this wood piece, the wood piece that's flowing up. And we actually did a little test piece. This is our example test piece. So this is gonna be the facing to a little shelf that we're gonna be putting into. It's gonna go from here to here, and then I think from here over will be cabinetry. I am so excited. I get to be like an artist today doing this backsplash. And we did a little test patch and it seemed to work okay. So we'll see how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna mix joint compound and concrete color, practically. And on our test patch, what we really noticed was whatever color it is, like whatever darkness it is, picture when it dries, it's gonna dry half lighter, if that makes sense. I don't really know how else to explain that, but say it's like black, it's gonna be like a mid gray, which maybe I actually did a little too much coloring, but I want the base coat to be darker and then the top coats to be lighter. And this stuff actually makes this joint compound like really watery. Here's what the first layer is looking like. So you can see that's it drying and then the above where it's really dark is the fresh stuff. Satisfying stroke. <laughs> it is looking insane. So there's two coats on it right now. I'm gonna go in with another lighter one. It's a little patchy, but you just gotta trust the process. It's all about the layers. Ooh, mommy. I'm so excited to take all the blue tape off and slip the countertop back in and see it with the countertop. And we are gonna be under lighting this as well because lighting is everything. I think it's about where it needs to be. And I'm gonna put the countertop and the sink in and we can see how it all looks together. And holy shit. But this would look a lot better with our lights in. And we accidentally broke them last time. So Lance is working on fixing it. It was just a connection that got split and broken. And I was trying to solder it back together. Celebration dance. I was gonna high five you, but you <laughs> ran away. <laughs> we got it. Reconnected these uh, little terminals here. It was ripped there. You can see like this one here. It was ripped. So just re-soldered those with a uh, a wood burner. And it's working now. Baby, you look good. Look at that lighting. Look at <laughs> this lighting makes you look so good. Yeah.
Babe, that looks so good. That's pretty cool. That's our beer water fill tap. I made this the other day. So we're gonna have like a beer tap here, but it's just gonna dispense water. And this is the tap handle. A H N N L Allie Lance Pink Notch. <laughs> this turned out so cool. It almost looks like a digital camo. Well, I think that this just about wraps up the day. <laughs>